Okay, adding a watermark or a logo to a piece of video in Photoshop CC 2021. Let's go ahead and open a video clip. So I go to File, Open, and choose a clip. All right, and you want to make sure that your timeline is open when you open your clip. If it's not, go to Window, Timelines down here. Okay. So this is some footage I shot uh, using a slider. And I'd like to add my website logo to this piece of footage. So how do we do that? Well, this is a PSD file, and I'm really interested in the uppermost layer, the top layer, which is the actual logo. The bottom layer is just black. So I want this layer to be inside of here. So if I hit Control A, that selects all. Then I can go to Edit, Copy, and then go to my video clip and choose Edit, Paste. And immediately there's a problem because what happens is Photoshop decides, well, this needs to be pasted at the very end of the clip. So if I zoom out a little bit here on the timeline, you can see it placed it all the way down here, which is not what we want. So the way to fix this is to take this layer, which is the logo right here, layer two, drag this out of this video group and above it. So click on it, drag it up, and above like this, let go. And now you can see that it's added a whole new layer, which is above the video track. And I can now click in here and drag this. Let's zoom in a little bit. And I can drag it so it appears on top of the video layer. And I can also reposition this because I'm actually on that layer. So if I click and drag, I can put this wherever I want and I can resize it. So if I hit Control T on the keyboard, that opens up the transform, and if I hold Shift as I drag, that will maintain the aspect ratio of my logo. If I don't hold Shift, I get some strange things happening. Hold Shift, maintains aspect ratio, and I can resize it to my heart's content. Hit Enter to apply the transform, and I can play this. And you can see there's the logo. There's a problem though. The logo doesn't cover the entire video. You can see where it ends here and just sort of stops. But we can fix that as well. If you click in here and drag this out, I can drag it all the way to the end and I can drag it all the way to the beginning. And that will cover the entire video. And it's easier to see the logo in this section of the video right here. All right, so, so far so good. We can also change the opacity of this logo. So you can click in this little area here, drag this down, and that changes the opacity. So if I pull this down here or reposition it, you can see that the opacity, you know, it's not quite as intense as it was. Okay. If we can hit the space bar to play. You get the idea. So how do we get this thing out of here? Well, we need to export it. We can also tell Photoshop how much of this to actually export. So these little bars here on either end, there's one here and there's one here, that's your work area. So if you click and drag, Let's say I want to start it right around, I don't know, here. And I want to end, you know, somewhere over here. And I know this logo is way too big, but it's just for demonstration purposes. I would never intentionally make my logo this <laughs> obnoxious. So, okay. So let's go ahead and export this out of Photoshop. So we'll go to File. We'll choose Export. And we'll choose Render Video. And you'll see inside of here, you have your location where it's being saved. And I will actually rename this to with logo. You have how it's gonna be created. I'm gonna use the Adobe Media Encoder. I'm gonna use H.264, and I'll use a preset for YouTube. So if I click this preset dropdown, I have a YouTube HD 1080p 2997 preset. 
which is great. So everything else in here seems fine. This is all correct. You can see here that my work area has been already selected. That's the area we set down here. You could also choose all frames or you could choose a specific region. But outside of that, we're ready to go. So I'm going to go ahead and render this. Okay, so it's done rendering, so we'll go ahead and take a look at the file that it created. And here it is. Looks pretty good. So that's all there is to it. If you have any questions, feel free to let me know in the comments below, and I hope this helped.